All right, shalom, everybody. To the few brothers and sisters that's in here, shalom. So we're going to be getting right into it. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaku Dash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopefully lit all over the earth, gathering faith for a treasure. This is about faith, okay? I will walk in this truth. This truth is about faith. Anyway, tonight's title, tonight's lesson is going to be entitled Hebrew Israelite Rebuke. The world will not endorse us or our language. The world will not endorse us or our language. And we'll explain as we go forward. And this is tonight, you know, and I wanted to do the news, but when this came up, and I started to do the, the original title was news and Hebrew is like rebuke. And I was going to just touch on it lightly. But then when I started pulling scriptures, there's so many that I just said, you know, we'll do the news later. So we're going to get into this. This is just scriptures, you know, like it should be. Now, first, I want to read a comment. <clears throat> and this is what sparked it. So this is from uh, a video that I did the other day. It's entitled YHWH is not a name. You're going off. So just a few minutes ago, I received this comment. It says an hour ago. And this person, uh, I guess is Mariah or Mary Yah, Mary Yah or Mar Yah, right? It's a proud comment. I am studying the Hebrew a left bit so please explain the hebrew letters yad hey vav hey first off where did you get that from what letters called yad hey vav hey where's that is that in the scriptures yhwh is not in the scriptures you're not gonna find that any place that's some contrived shit that esau came up with it's not in the bible any place it's never used with his name where did you get that from you got it from the white man Please explain the Hebrew letters Yad Hey Vav Hey. It's fucking stupid. Also, I do not see the letters W or U in the Hebrew or the Paleo Hebrew Aleph Bet. Idiot. So please explain the use of these letters in Abba Father's name. All praises to the Most High. Glory. Hallelujah. This is a proud ass Israelite right here. Okay. This is a one. First of all, it's a proud Israelite woman. Who just thinks she knows something? And she's asking us to explain to her, since she's never heard of this, how this exists, how that exists. So in other words, she wants us to make her feel, you know, uh, convince her. Since the world hasn't given us an endorsement to say that we have the correct Hebrew, she needs to be convinced. I came back, I said, Paleo Hebrew, which is Lashawan Kodash, has a W sound, no U. What you are studying is Yiddish, which is not Hebrew. If our nationality was lost and replaced, wouldn't our language be? You people are like impatient children who want everything to be tangible. Jeremiah 17 and 4, and thou even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in a land which thou knowest not. For you have kindled a fire in mine anger which shall burn forever. That's what the Lord wrote to us. We're going to lose our heritage. Look up Lashawan Kodash and believe or don't. Doesn't matter to me. Romans 3 verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall the unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? God forbid. Yeah, let the Most High be true with every man a liar as it is written that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged. We are not sent to convince you. This is a thing of faith. And like I told her, if our whole heritage, we, we're known as the 12 lost tribes of Israel. You know any lost people that they retained a full language while they was lost? If we had the language, how would we be lost? We would, we would automatically have known who we were. But then you got a lot of faithless Jewish punk ass Israelites who want everything to be tangible. You want the world to give us an endorsement to tell you, yeah, y'all the Israelites, 
This is the language y'all spoke. No. And we're going to go through the scriptures. And we got a, a lot of scriptures to share. I'll read this brother. Um, scripture. Mashah Ban Yam Yam, Isaiah 19 and 18. And that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt speak the language of Canaan and swear to the Lord of hosts. One should be called the city of destruction. And what we're doing is this is a thing of faith, right? Us find out that we Israelites. The language we speak, all the, everything that we're doing, we're doing it all on faith. Now, if we lost our heritage, would this stand the reason that we would also have lost our language? And we're going to show you in the scriptures. And a couple of brothers got this. Men of Bethlehem, San Diego, and the brother Yah, Yah, Yahweh yeah, Yah, Yahweh Tazah, a war, Zephaniah 3 and 9. For then will I turn... To the people of pure language that they may all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. That's in the kingdom. See, let's also get this uh, salvation of the elect Hebrews 11 and 1. Now, faith is the substance of faith is, is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen. This is a walk of faith. Man, y'all are loading it down already. And I, I kind of knew that. That's why I said I'm going to go ahead and just make this lesson be about this. My Shabbat Yam Yam. Now, we, as we read in Hebrews 11, it's all about faith. If the most I going to show us everything and tell us everything, you know, why do we need to have faith? That's even in Romans 8, was Romans 8, 24. My Shabbat Yam Yam, John 20, 29, Yahweh Shah said, saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. This is about faith. The Lord is going to just show us everything like that. Going right into what I went into earlier. That's why the Most High is not going to allow us to use spiritual power to get people to believe. He's not going to let make it. Look, look, check this out. Yeah, we the Israelites. See, you, you throw a kid up in the air and you make him go up in his face. <laughs> then fly up and get him and bring him back down. No, no, no. That's not how this is going to happen. Let me go. Let me calm down because I'm excited. And then the brother's dropping this. The spirit got y'all dropping the scriptures. That I didn't include, but I was meditating. I meditated on some of them. This is one of them. Same brother, Mashah Ban Yam Yam, Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord power would do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Everything is not just out there like that. Some things are secrets. And the most high is revealing things unto us, such as breakdowns of the scriptures, right? All types of stuff. The book was sealed until the time of the end. Yahweh Shai. The line from the tribe of Judah had prevailed to open the book and to loosen the seals thereof. We've been cut off from our heritage. We're only now coming back into it. See, when Vocab Malone and these white, these so-called Christians, the Edomites, they say things like that. You can't prove this language exists. You can't prove it. Well, how can we prove it? Here it is. These fucking devils then took over the whole earth. They covered over the faces of the judges and the images and everything. Then they hid our language from us and hid the records. Now prove you the Israelites. That's why the Lord gave us the Holy Spirit. That's the proof. Let me get a quick scripture. Hold on here. Just I'm going to read a little bit more of these. Um, it's just certain ones. Right? Just hold on here. Give me a, give me a second. All right. This is Yahweh the Bonds of Mark. Romans 8, 24. For we are saved by hope. But the hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man sees, why does he yet hope for? The Most High is not going to show us everything like that. Just like he ain't going to show us. We can't know for certain which, like of all the Israelite groups, we can't know for certain which one sold out, which one's true. We, we know through faith and through seeing, uh, you shall know them by their fruits. That's how we know who the true men of the Lord are. If the Most High would just put it out there and let brothers have spiritual power. Now, everybody would believe based off, off of spiritual power. Even unbelievers would say, man, I'm them guys, I'm going to follow these guys. That's why the Lord does things the way that he does them. Now, the scripture I wanted to grab, let's get this one first. And then we'll go in. I just want to read this one before we take off because I got a bunch of scriptures up here. Man, that's how I knew. I, I was kind of, part of me was wanted to kind of chill tonight, not do nothing. Another part of me said do the news, you know. But then as these scriptures just start start going, after that person made that comment, I'm just like, this is, man, Jake, you got to get on a on a higher level. You just want us to, you want the most high to just show everything. This is this is a powerful work that, that's being done by the gospel being preached. This is Isaiah 59 and verse 20, right? It says, and the redeemer shall come to Zion 
And unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, said the Lord. As for me, this is my covenant with them, said the Lord. My spirit that is upon thee and my words, which I have put in thy mouth, shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, seed, said the Lord, from henceforth and forever. Now, I read that scripture for a couple of different reasons. Let's say now the most High gave us his name. We, we, we've been receiving his name. Right. He gave us knowledge of the scripture. Let's just say, for example, that we didn't know any Hebrew whatsoever. You don't think that we the Israelites, by the way, that we going out there according to that scripture. I mean, let's read it again. Isaiah verse 59, chapter 59, verse 21. As for me, this is my covenant with them, said the Lord. My spirit that is upon thee and my words which I have put in thy mouth shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed nor out of the mouth of thy seed, seed, saith the Lord, from henceforth and forever. Which means what? Jacob is going to be the one out there preaching the gospel. Nobody can, why, why is it that we preach the gospel? Nobody can confound us. We can't stop us. We got the spirit. We, we teaching others, other Israelites waking up. How are we doing that? Are we doing that on our own power? Of course not. The Holy Spirit is making us do that. The spirit of the Lord is on men to go out there and preach the gospel. And we're growing and waking up all over the place. Let's just say we didn't have any Hebrew. We didn't know no Hebrew. We didn't know the Most High's name. Would you be able to still look at it and say, man, there's something special about them guys. They Israelites waking up everywhere teaching the word. Why the people in Israel ain't doing it? If they the Jews, why they ain't doing it? Where's the Jewish prophet at that nobody can confound? It's got all the answers. Breaking down the book that's been kept secret since the foundation. Why they ain't doing it? We're the ones doing it. We're the Israelites. And just because I can't go to you and show you a record, you know, show you my lineage going way back 59 generations ago. What does that mean? We here it is. We've been in captivity. All these captivities. You don't think we lost anything? That's why it's so ridiculous when you see these Israelites that think. OK, the only thing that the fate the, the 1948 has got wrong is the fact that it's just a face. They stepped in. They pushed you out the way. They stepped in. Now they you, but they left everything else intact. No, they didn't. It was a whole lot of removing going on. Even during the times of the Greeks and the Antiochus, them, they said they didn't even want us to be even, be even calling ourselves Jews. The Most High put the spirit on these nations so heavy to completely do away with our heritage, to remove us out of the earth. We was never supposed to be uh, a people again, but the Lord reserved the plan. He had a plan for us, right? So now we're coming forward. Let me go on. Getting too wrapped up. Hot, man. Hot. And y'all brothers dropping all the X in the scriptures, but I can't, I can't read them all. So let's start here. Let's look up this word, endorse. Because the title of the lesson is, Hebrews is like rebuke. The nations will not endorse us or our language. They ain't going to come and say, you know what? You're absolutely right. Y'all the Israelites, Paleo Hebrew, Lashwan Kodash is y'all language. You're right. We, we made it all up. We're not the Jews. We're not the Israelites. We Edomites. We Hamites. They ain't going to do that. The nations had a scheme. They got together to make sure that we, man, they didn't never want us to wake up. So this is the word endorse from Google. Endorse. Declare one's public approval or support of. The nations are not going to give us their public approval. They're not going to support us. First and foremost, the so-called white man. He's going to send people to try to dissuade you, persuade you, to try to crush your dreams and hopes, put you back to sleep. That's why they're sending agents and vocab alone. And what we've been doing since we Jacob crushing them all. We've been proving everything. Everybody want to come and they want to have the Hebrews like prove this, prove that, prove this. Okay, when you prove that, and then they never come back. Why is it that when they say prove this, when we prove it, why do we never hear back? Nobody comes back and says, you know what? I see through the scriptures. Y'all proved everything y'all said and backed it up. Y'all must be the Israelites. No, not one person has said that. And we done crushed everything y'all threw at us through the spirit of the Lord. All praise you. How about Shimmy? How shy? Every question y'all ask, we answer. We throw questions back at you. You motherfuckers disappear. Poof. No one wants to answer. That's because you're not the people of the Lord. And we are. We are Jacob. We're Jacob. Going back to it. Again. The word endorsed declare one's public approval or support of. That's what it is. You see, these people are not going to endorse us or our language. 
I also looked up uh, the word tangible because that's what Jake want. Jake want the most high to look down from the heavens and tell you that, yep, those are my guys. Follow them. That's not how this works. This is a spiritual word. Here's the word tangible. Tangible. Now, in the adjective form, it says perceptible by touch, right? Here in the noun sense, it says the thing that is perceptible by touch gives you the same thing. Here, what does it mean if something is tangible? It says the first definition, capable of being perceived, especially by the sense of touch, pal pal palpable, palpable, substantially real material. Two, capable of being precisely identified or realized by the mind. You want us to be able to I, precisely identify. Just like Jake asked you them, are we there yet questions? When the Lord coming? That's why the 400 year doctrine is so popular among you stupid Israelites, because that's more. You need that. That's what you, you need to know round about when the Lord is coming back. Why not just wait through faith? Why not? Why would you rather do that? No, you need to know. OK, the Lord said 1620. Hmm, carry the one. He going to come back in the year 2020. Oh, wait, roughly 2022, March the 2nd. No, no, no. That's not how this works. This is a thing of faith. And many people are getting shook. Now, we know we got the truth. But we, what if we can't prove? We're not going to be able to convince you of that. You're going to have to believe through faith, and then you're going to have to wait and see. That's it. That's the best deal we can give you. And we don't care if you don't believe, whoever it is. And I'm just looking through these scriptures because I know y'all brothers is rolling. I don't want to miss something you know, really good. Okay, I got more scripts on that. So first, let's get a few things that Yahweh Shah said to us. Right, because Jake don't want to believe in the name of the Lord, and that's all right. You don't have to. We are not here to make you believe. Okay, you know, like force you to believe it. We're here to make you believe through faith. But the most high is the one giving us the spirit in order to do that. So this is John, and I want to actually want to get before I do that. I want to get first John first. Just hold tight. My mind is going to man, I'm I'm hot, you know. I will actually read that John first, I think. Yeah, let's get that first. It don't really matter. These can be in any, any particular order. So this is John 15. Now at the top it says, disciples' relation to the world. John 15, 18. If the world hates you, ye you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. But because you're not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hated you. And, and this has many applications to it. But in this sense, the world is not going to endorse you, your language. They're not going to tell you the men of the Lord. They didn't accept the Lord. We don't expect the world to accept us. That's why it's so much fun, the fact that we're kicking their ass with this truth. Because we're still doing it, even though you don't accept. That's how we know it's from the Lord. You can't stop us, even though you hate what we're saying. You hate what we're teaching. You tried to disprove, but you couldn't do it. You tried to send agents, and it didn't work. We still here preaching the gospel. You can't stop it. Why can't you stop it? Because it's from the Lord. It's not from us. It's not from us. Let's also get John 14. Right? Words from our Lord and Savior. He says right here, John 14 and verse 16. Now, up here it says, the role of the Spirit. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. Stop right there. Even though it's a comma, we're going to pause for a minute. The spirit of truth, the world cannot receive it. So how then, if we know something is true through the spirit, if we know something is true, how are we going to make you receive it? If, you, if you're of the world, and the Lord said the world can't receive the spirit of truth. So how in the hell are we going to convince you of that? Show me what Yav, Yav, hey, Rob, hey explain this to me who are you first off that we got to explain anything to you your mouth supposed to be closed nigga woman either you believe the gospel and repent or you can die it ain't the burden of proof is not on us the lord said preach the gospel give the message like i be making making the analogy it's as if you're the israelites you stand in a room the messengers which are the prophets come in we got a, we got a letter for you here you go from the lord here's your here's the telegram okay we gotta go see you later that's our job our job is not to convince you, it's to deliver the message. And if you can't believe through faith that we're the Israelites, if we got to show you every little thing, see right here, I got a crest, 
my granddaddy and his granddaddy before him had it, and his granddaddy before him had it. It had a Hebrew letters scratched on it real tiny. You can see it. Even though he was a slave, he hid it. No. No, no, no. It's through faith. That's all it is. If you ain't got faith, then, hey, good. We'll see you later, chief. John 14, 17. Again, I'm going to start at 16. Now I will pray to Father, and he shall give you another comforter, and he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth. The Lord sent the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not neither knoweth him, but ye know him. For he dwells with you and shall be in you. The spirit of truth dwells with the Lord's men. And they're not going to be received by the world, nor endorsed, nor liked, nor popular, nor famous. But it's something about us. You just can't stop us. Something about the Lord. You can't stop his word. This is uh, GMS, the elect prevails, Brother Ariala from the Pittsburgh camp. Romans 11 and 7, what then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election has obtained it, and the rest were blinded. We know that for a fact. How are we going to convince you of something you ain't of, if you ain't of the elect? How are we going to, we can't convince you. The book got to convince you. It's got to compel you. It's got to uh, open your eyes up. The spirit of the Lord got to be on you. And if your thing is, in all these works we doing, Beautiful words, but then I got to stop what I'm doing to make you believe this is the name of the Lord, the YHW. Why can't you explain the, the Yub Hey Bah Hey? Where's that in the script? You got it from the white man. That's where you got it from. But if he say it's Hebrew, then you believe it. Even though he didn't put these fakes in the land, they got a fake language, which is an offshoot of what? German, motherfucking <laughs> Polish, these other languages mixed in. But since he told you his face on the dollar, here he goes, his face on the paper money. He told you that it's Hebrew. Now you believe it. But you're a Hebrew Israelite, though, and you love the brotherhood. Shut up. Just be quiet. Can't wait till the Lord start killing off thousands of wicked Israelites. Let's get another script. And y'all brothers, excellent scriptures. They're everywhere. I can't even keep up. Let's get this one. This is John 17. We're going to jump in here at verse 6. It seems like we read this all the time. John 17 and 6, this is Yahweh Shai's words. I have manifested thy name unto everybody. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. I didn't even mention women. What is this woman talking about? Explain this to her. Explain that to her. Close your mouth up and go make a sandwich. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. The disciples first, the elect of our time, and now in our time, the elect. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. It didn't say the whole world gonna receive that. So if there's only a, a, the chosen is the only one gonna receive the name, how then we can can we convince everybody else to receive it? The Lord don't want He don't even want two thirds of His own people to receive the gospel. Some woman on the comment board. Now the only reason I address it not because it's her, because this is the attitude and opinion that goes on through the house of Israel. It's like that with a lot of stuff. You niggas are crazy, man. You think that the way the Lord is going to save, he's going to allow you to see everything beforehand. If he's going to let you see it, then why do you need to have faith? Why do we even bother to preach the gospel? Most high going to save everybody. He want everybody to understand the truth. You should just read it and just, hey, you should just understand it. It's not laid out that way. This is a thing of faith. And the most high will give secrets to some men and to others he's going to withdraw or withhold his secrets. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Down, down they were, and thou has, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. See, and you can read into it a little more. I'm just going to try to jump around. I'm going to go down into the last two verses. Excellent chapter, of course. Verse 25. O righteous Father, the world have not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me. How do they know? Through the Spirit. And, ha and I have declared unto them thy name and will declare it that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them and I in them. Plain. It's plain to the holy. Stumbling blocks to the wicked. And we can't convince you. You see it? And even the sisters that believe, they don't believe because we were just so, so you know, because of us. It's the spirit. When we teach the word, the heavenly father says what? Or how shall I say it? Any man that open up, I will come, <coughs> excuse me, I will come into them and I will sup with them. 
So you got to have the Holy Spirit suffering with you to even understand it. It's not of us. We say we, of course, we know it's the spirit that's doing it. It's the spirit that quickened it. The flesh profited nothing. Let's get another one. I also have here 1 John. 1 John 3, I believe. <clears throat> yeah, let's grab that. And these are just warm ups. We got other scriptures laid out. So this is 1 John 3 and 10. And this the children of the Most High are manifest and the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of the Most High, neither he that loveth not his brother. For this is the message that she have heard from the beginning that we should love one another. Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother. And wherefore slew he him? Why did he kill him? Because of because his own works were evil and his brother's righteous. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hate you. It said we're going to be hated by the world. And the world can't receive the spirit of truth. So how then, if we have this, if we had the spirit of truth, are the world going to receive us? They can't receive the spirit of truth. They hate us. How then are they going to be able to understand something that's too high for them? They can't do it. And, and, and the main thing with Israelites is they want to get the wicked in there. Most of you people don't even understand the Bible. You don't even understand that there's a wicked, there's a the wicked, and there's a righteous. Most people, if trust me, that's been five minutes along with this Mar, 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 uh, what is it, Maria. I can pick her apart in seconds. Explain to me this, explain to me that. Yeah, okay, get a life. You're proud ass. So let me see here. Let me hit the comment board for a minute, and then we're going to go on because I got other scripts here. They laid all, you know, just all types of scriptures. Yeah, Brother Mashaba Yamya had his John 6, 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Bottom line. You see? Man. Yeah, I see a couple of scriptures that I, I, I got laid up. I'm going to go ahead and read it now. Yashara the chosen first Corinthians 121. For after that in the wisdom of the Most High, the world by wisdom knew not the Most High. It pleased the Most High by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. And you're going to believe through faith. Zebulon warrior. Isaiah 29 and 10. For the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep and have closed your eyes. The prophets and your rulers the sea is hath he covered. These people are covered with his spirit of sleep, just like we were until the Most High woke us up. He woke us up. It ain't got nothing to do with us. The Most High was the one that woke us up, put the spirit of truth on us, but everybody else still sleep. How then are we going to be able to convince them of something that they got to receive through faith, though they don't have faith? It doesn't work like that. If they knew the scriptures, they would know that. Jim S. Vegas sit downs, Hebrews 4 2. If they had the Holy Spirit, they would know that, which they don't. Jim S. Vegas sit downs, Hebrews 4 and 2. For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them, but the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. I just said it. <laughs> they don't have faith. And faith is a gift from the Heavenly Father, from Yahweh by Shemi Shah Salakia. Because that Heavenly Father shit got to stop now, because Bishop Nathan messed it up. It's the faith comes from Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the most high, but how we get through him through his son, the door. I am the way, the truth, and the life. You got a problem with the name? Don't watch us. Don't come around us. We don't want to know you. We don't want to know you. GMS, Amoth, your eyes from Yahweh the first Corinthians 2:14. But the natural man receiving not the things of the spirit of the most high, such as his name, right? You got to receive that through faith. We done lost everything that we had. We didn't even know who we were up until the last decade, most of us, some of us the last few years. How then are we going to turn around and, and yeah, see, we have the Hebrew language is perfectly preserved. We got scrolls that's been hidden. Shh, don't tell Esau he's going to find. No, man, the man been in charge of us. He thoroughly tried to make sure that we never woke up, but it wasn't a work of carnality. It was through the spirit. The most I said, I'm going to make him be asleep for a period of time. And then when I feel like it, I'm going to start waking him up. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the most high, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. These things are through the spirit, the name of the family, father, and son, the fact that we're the Israelites, how to break down the scriptures, point out who Esau, the so-called white man is. We say Esau's the so-called white man. They say that they're not the Edomites. We say, okay, then fine. You say you're not Esau. Prove it to us through end time prophecy that you're not the Edomites. 
and they can't do it. Why can't they do it? Because number one, because they're the fucking Edomites. Number two is because you can't disprove what can't be disproven. You cannot prove through the scripture that you're not the Edomites. If you could do it, you would have done it already. If it could be done, someone would have done it and they have it. That's how we that's further how we know. And if we know that you're Esau, we're biblically linked together in the end time prophecy. We know we the Israelites. Going back to Isaiah 59 and 20. You haven't been able to stop us. You can't destroy us in the word. You can't go found us. You can't trip us up. You done did all kind of dirty tricks. You hid everything. You're taking our videos down. You still can't stop us. That means we're Jacob. And if we're Jacob, that means you're Esau. We proved you was Esau. If you're Esau, that means we're Jacob. We link together at the hip. Stupid demons. There's nowhere to go. You're trapped. That's why you're trying like hell to make sure that we don't get the recognition. But guess what? We don't need none of your recognition. We don't need to go on TV. We don't need to go on no trip. We don't need to make rap songs. Nothing. We got as far as we did through doing what? Going on the highways and hedges. Making lessons and shows day after day after day, repetition till we got tired. Do we had to take a break? Do we come back? We're gonna do the same thing. We'll be doing this until we die, we get old, and our sons and our children come up after us, and the next group come if the Lord don't come and save us. We're gonna be doing this. As much as you're gonna be the wicked, we're gonna be Jacob, and we're gonna keep bringing out the truth. You cannot stop it. It's pointless to even fight against it. That's right. Elder Cross, as I said, the prophecy proves. Who's who? Nothing you can do. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> I don't have to tell y'all what to do. If you didn't, if a brother didn't do it already, please do it. Do it, man. Do it. Get rid of him. We don't have time. It's just Jeff. First off, let me answer the question because they say we're running from questions. The answer is no. Now block him. You don't know better than that. They come in here, we here is we high powered in the spirit. You gonna ask us that? Go away, black, black sheep. Okay, so let's go. Let's go to Jeremiah first. We read it in the in the answer to the question, but let's read it again now. What does this mean? Jeremiah 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy inheritance that I gave thee. Vocab alone, the Christians hate this. They think this means vocab actually said, show them in the scripture where it says we're going to forget. And we did it. We've shown them in the scripture. That says that we're going to discontinue from our heritage that he gave us. Thus the awakening. When you go to Ezekiel 37, it very well chronicalizes and talks about the dry bones being dead. And the congregation of the dead is in Proverbs. It's all over the Bible. But we got scriptures here. And we'll go and bring some of them up. Jeremiah 17 and 4 again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through some quick. And thou even thyself shall discontinue from thine inheritance that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For you have kindled a fire in mine anger which shall burn forever. That's plain and plain and plain. The Lord said, We're gonna lose our heritage, we're gonna go to slavery into a land which was not ours. Did it happen? Yeah, it happened. And while we were there, they stole everything from us before we even left. When the Lord was on the scene, he said this land uh, is going to be laid. He basically said, what? Uh, and we'll go there. Let's go there now. Matter of fact, I should have brought that scripture up. Man. More scriptures popping into my mind as we're going on. Let's get Luke. The Lord prophesied what was going to happen to us. And in the Apocrypha, it's got powerful accounts of us, you know, Things happening to us. That's why they don't want you to read about it. They don't want you to read in the Apocrypha. That's why they got such a problem with it. And they wanted so much to the point they wanted to take it out. How are you going to hide a whole captivity from the people that was in captivity? Then they hid the whole Greek captivity from you by taking the Apocrypha out. And then they set up their little lackeys and stupid pigeons to tell you that the Apocrypha is not canon. That's some shit you made up. Luke 21. I'm going to start at 22. He says, For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. But warn to them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days, for there shall be great distress in the land and wrath upon this people. What people is this? The Israelites. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. You go into slavery in all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. 
until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. A question for stupid Christians is, and anybody that think you know something, when do the times of the Gentiles, when do they be fulfilled? When would that be? Because we know you Christians are prophetically illiterate. The times of the Gentiles going to be until the Lord comes back. So we're going to be in captivity, away from our homeland, in other lands that we don't even know, or that we didn't know back then. We know them now because we've been raised here. We're going to be speaking all the languages of the nation. And then the Lord is going to give us a sliver of hope. He sent his son to die, which he was on the scene then. And we're going to start learning a little, little more, a little more, a little more each day, each however long. And we're going to get a piece of our heritage. We got it in the scripture. We get a piece of our heritage back here or there. We're going to get somebody going to say that, you know, the name. We're going to start. All this is written. All this is written. Fire scripture right here. GMS Vegas sit downs. Deuteronomy 29, 28. And the Lord rooted them out of their land in anger and in wrath and in great indignation and cast them into another land as it is this day. The reason that you don't want to believe that, I'm going to leave it up for a minute. The reason you don't want to believe that people of the world is because that reveals that the people that's over there now are a bunch of fucking phonies. And we know that they are. Even though they own everything, they're taking our videos down. You still can't stop us. You can call his name. They ugly. What's that dude? Uh, Pastor Tyler Baker said <laughs> they're unlearned. They ugly. They stink. Their mama's fat. You know, he's just trying to come up with stuff. Look at this. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. See? <laughs> uh, <zzz. laughs> If you got it, if you got any any rapes on any of us or child molester, bring it forth. Otherwise, you are guilty of false witness, bitch. See, people get mad at us for using the harsh language and cussing people out sometimes, but you have to do that. That's why you need all types of brothers, right? Where's the apostle recall when I need him right now to do something? You know what I mean? But you need all kind of all kind of brothers, man. We ain't no little faggot, easygoing Christian couple. See, these people like to do that type of shit. Y'all already know where we at with that. Let's move on. We ain't gonna let them disrupt what we got going on. Let's read that the elder scripture again. James Vegas sit downs. Deuteronomy 29, 28. And the Lord rooted them out of their land in anger and in wrath and in great indignation and cast them into another land as it is this day. That's proof right there. We're whipping y'all ass with this truth. You gotta say this. People with nothing to do on a Friday night but come here and just say little stuff. Hey, yeah, I got so did you get a check for doing that? <laughs> You gonna punch the clock? Yes, yeah, see, I went on there. I scoffed. You gotta write down. You got a scoff board. Write down how many scoffs you made, and you didn't do shit. Cause we still right here. We still right here. Even if you take the video down, we are gonna be on the streets tomorrow, prophesying. Power coming out of the word. You can't do nothing about it. So according to the scripture, Lord cast us out 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 of our land. Did he not? Now the prophecy says we won't be going back to that land until we get a ride back. The chair is coming. The Lord coming. He's going to take all 12 tribes. But the people that's over there now say, uh-uh. We're them. We're back now. We came back on our own. We run Hollywood. We run this town. That's not That's not prophetic. That's not prophetic. And according to prophecy further, right, the times of the Gentiles are not fulfilled yet. How can you be back there? The Lord said out of his own mouth. We're going to be in captivity to the time our land will going to be getting trodden down by Gentiles until their time is up. And there's four major empires written up in the scriptures, and we're in the fourth now. What did you do? You did. You got in the microwave. You got in the time machine. You came out the other side. See, Lord, we beat you. Nope. You're not the people. Let's get something else. Fire scriptures, brothers. Keep putting the heat on. Press the gas. So let's get second... Let me see if I got it, what I want here. Yeah, this is just a quick hit. Second Ezra chapter 10. I'm going to jump in here at verse 17. I'm going to jump in here at verse 15. Now, therefore, keep thy sorrow to thyself and bear with a good courage that which hath befallen thee. For if thou shalt acknowledge the determination of the Most High to be just, thou shalt both receive thy son in time and shall be commended amongst women. This woman is Israel. Go thy way then into the city to thine husband. And she said unto me, that will I not do. I will not go into the city, but here will I die. Of course, it's a woman, but I mean, allegorically, it's Israel. So I proceeded to speak further unto her and said, do not so, but be counseled by me. For how many are the adversaries of Zion? The whole world hate 
the Israelites, all of them haters. Be comforted in regard of the sorrow of Jerusalem. For thou seest that our sanctuary is laid waste. Our altar is broken, our altar broken down. Our temple destroyed. Our psaltery is laid on the ground. Our song is put to silence. Our rejoicing is at an end. The light of our candlesticks is put out. The ark of the covenant is spoiled. The ark of our covenant is spoiled. Our holy things are defiled. And the name that is called upon us is almost profaned. Our children are put to shame. Our priests are burnt. Our Levites are gone into captivity. Our virgins are defiled and our wives ravished. Our righteous men carried away. Our little ones destroyed. Our young men are brought in bondage and our strong men have become weak. And which is the greatest of all? The seal of Zion has now lost her honor, for she is delivered into the hands of them that hate us. Y'all heard it. Fire. Fire, man. Coming out of the word of the Lord. See? Second Andrew chapter 10. Read it, brothers. And others. You can't get around that. Come on, man. Woo. What else we got? So let's 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 do this. Since we read that, let's take a little a few minutes here. So let's go over here. Parallel Hebrew Bible. Parallel Hebrew Old Testament index. I'm going to put the link on the comment board. Anybody want to go there? The apostles told us about this. Showed it to us. Yeah, absolutely. Brother said it. That said it all. We were utterly ruined as a nation. That's why we the lost tribes of Israel. We ain't going to hear we going to show up in the last days. You know, we got the full language with us and all that. No, we didn't need all that. We got the Holy Spirit to show you the Lord is dealing. He's working in the earth. If you know the most high, you know he don't even work like that. He don't show you. What's the point of us showing up with everything already? No, he going to build us back up. He doing it in his time, man. Brother said it. <laughs> Let that soak in. <laughs> Fire emoji. So anyway. So, yeah, let's go to this. This is the parallel Hebrew Old Testament index, right? Up here at the top, it says parallel Hebrew Old Testament, Hebrew Old Testament. Any of these books you can go into in the Old Testament, you can click on these chapters. This is the books over here, and it will give you what? Click on it. It's going to give you this modern, they say modern Hebrew, right? Without the vowel points. If you know anything about Hebrew, the 1940s put the vowel points in there to force the pronunciation. This doesn't have it. The blue letter does, but this doesn't. What do you see here? Before 585 BC, Paleo Hebrew, Lashawar Kodash, right? Beautiful ancient language that we spoke before 585 BC. Why do the people in 1948ers, why do they not speak this language? Mariah. Since you study in Hebrew, why do the people over there now, do they not speak this language? They don't know it. They don't even know this language. They know an offshoot of it with forced pronunciation with vowel points. They know that, right? We know this language, and it's a real language. Vocab Malone said, Paleo Lashwan Kodash is made up. No, it's not. This is it. What are you talking about? The version that they speak, if they speak it, when they try to force a pronunciation, that's false. Nobody ever asked those people that. They ask us. And you can do this. You can go to any of these. Um, let's go back. I was, I was showing it, actually. You can go through this, and you can go and read it just like that. You know, you can click on any book. You can go to Malachi, right, any of these books. And you can go there, and you can find that beautiful Paleo-Hebrew language. Now, the pronunciation that we use, the world ain't going to accept that. But that's all right. They don't have to accept it. We don't need we don't need validation. We don't need their endorsement. We don't need anything from you. Look at that. And you can find all types of paleo Hebrew. And then it gives you Hebrew transliterated, right? Just some more of the shit with all, you know, constants with no, no, 
no real vowels in it latin vulgate king james version american standard version you know all these different versions which that's all well and good i just wanted to show that and then you can also go here you can click on it it says hebrew alphabet paleo hebrew right this modern hebrew then they'll try to give you they little forced you know a left bay you know base but it's not it's ah ba ga da ha right according to paleo hebrew but we ain't we but we don't expect you to believe that the lord already told us you weren't gonna believe it that you couldn't receive it so we don't expect you to believe that can you explain this to me not really because it's a thing based off faith just like no more than you go to the faith jews and ask them to explain this and explain that they can't do it but they are right though us you come after whatever doesn't matter let's heat it back up so get a few other scriptures here going in line with what the lord was telling us this is first corinthians 2 and 9 let's jump in here at verse 6 how be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect yet not the wisdom of this world nor of the princes of this world that come to naught we ain't speaking the wisdom of this world it's gonna go on this plane but we speak the wisdom of the most high in a mystery what's a mystery is it something you can just you know you just see it no it gotta be figured out and how do you figure it out through the spirit you can't just do it on your own and if the lord ain't dealing with you he said the whole world is not gonna receive the spirit of truth so how then can you figure out the mystery and you can't know the mystery if you don't know the history but we speak the wisdom of the most high and a mystery even the hidden wisdom which the most high ordained before the world into our glory which none of the princes of this world knew uh oh mary y'all for had they known it they would not have crucified the lord of glory but as it is written i have not seen nor ear heard neither have entered into the heart of man the things which the most high have prepared for them that love him but the most high have revealed them to unto us by his spirit <laughs> For the spirit searches all things yeah the deep things are the most high and only jacob has that spirit so how then do we need an endorsement from the so-called white man he saw the nations to tell us that we the israelites this is the correct language vocab malone we need his his stamp of approval we don't need his stamp of approval he can't even understand it the dude don't even know the meaning he don't even understand the 12 tribes sign he doesn't understand that he's still trying to figure out why it's gad over here with these other Israelites. all the Native American tribes together, then Reuben is over here alone. He even his even the way he's even said that was dumb. Yeah. The other brother said, can, since I'm driving, can someone look up the word mystery? And I'll go to it here in the Greek. And if a brother wanna, you know, look it up and you know in the in the uh, outside, like in Google, let's go to the word mystery right here. Um just hold tight. right here but we speak the wisdom of the most high in a mystery let's look it up right here here it is strong's g 3466 mustarion 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 hidden thing secret mystery we can stop right there a hidden thing how is how is it revealed to us through his spirit so then how why would we labor to go and try to convince you of it when you don't have the spirit in order to understand that generally mysteries religious secrets whoo confided only to the initiated whoo and not to ordinary mortals <laughs> whoo foolish mortals you see that you need to have the holy spirit in order to get that to get this i gotta read that again generally mysteries religious secrets confided only to the initiated and what did we say the elected seal from the foundation of the earth right apostle har been telling us that right here lately has been being pushed apostle har apostle ryan Blob been saying it more or less confided only to the initiated the apostle har said the elect seal from the foundation of the earth and that at a certain time they're going to be initiated by the spirit and we know that to be true it's all in the scriptures only to the initiated and not to ordinary mortals so then there is a special group on the earth and if they're the ones that's got it and everybody else don't have it how can we make you understand the name of the lord is your how about how we know it rings in our ears 
But what about to the rest of the folks? Nope. A hidden or secret thing, not obvious to the understanding. A hidden purpose or counsel. Secret will of men of the Most High, the secret counsels which govern the Most High and dealing with the righteous, which are hidden from the ungodly and wicked men, but plainly to the godly. Woo! Man, Elder Yadazak must have knew what this said. That's why he said, get it. Can a brother put up plain to the holy, stumbling block to the wicked? Let's read it. Fire. But we speak the wisdom of the Most High in a mystery. Even the hidden wisdom which the Most High ordained before the world into our glory. All kind of fire in here. My computer might burn up. Jim has Vegas sit downs. Ecclesiastes 39 24. As his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks to the wicked. Those foolish mortals, they can't get it. Puny flesh creatures, you can't get it. Which none of the princes of this world knew, for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which the Most High prepared for them that love him. But the Most High have revealed them unto us by his spirit. It's not obvious to regular mortals, but he revealed them to us by his spirit. <laughs> for the spirit searches all things, yet the deep things of the Most High. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him, even so the things of the Most High knoweth no man but the spirit of the Most High. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of the Most High, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of the Most High. And without his spirit on you, you can't see it. It's You're blinded to it. You're blind, baby. You're blind to the fact, like Flavor Flav said. The water elder yachts up for telling us to look that up. <sighs> Come on, man. I gotta read this one. Uh, we just touched on this point. Mashab Ban Yamyan, Ephesians 1 and 5, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shah Masha to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. Well, we do have a limited free will. No, we don't. You don't. The most high is the man. And if you don't say you're getting it, you ain't getting it. Can we get that Romans 8, like from 32, he uh foreknew from them who he uh you know the who he foreknew that scripture that's dope too. Jim S. Vegas sit downs, second edges 12 36. Thou only has been me to know this secret of the highest. Therefore, write all these things that thou hast seen in the book and hide them. How do you hide something in the book? When anybody can pick up the book and read it, you had it in dark sayings, parables, mysteries, and you reveal them to who you will, according to the Holy Spirit. And teach them to the wise of the people whose hearts thou knowest may comprehend and keep these secrets. Flawless victory. It's a bloodbath in here. Spiritual art. 144 Romans 8 29 for whom he did foreknow he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be that he might uh that he might be the firstborn among many brethren moreover on top of that moreover whom he did predestinate them he also called and whom he called them he also justified and whom he justified them he also glorified Man, most of you putting mustard on that thing, man. Spreading it on thick. You can't get around that. Die garments from Basra. Jeremiah 10, 23. Oh, Lord. Yahweh Shai. I know that the way of a man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. The most high is doing it. <laughs> and uh, excellent scriptures, brothers. There are many others. This brother said somebody this picture went black. Anybody else having some problems over there? Can y'all see? If it going black, it's, it's the devil doing something, man. Because I I see. Everybody good? Kazak Banya Howder. Proverbs. 16 and 9. A man's heart devises his way, 
but the Lord directed his steps. Come on, man. What are you going to do? This is why people don't really want to face us because you, it ain't really us. It's the spirit of the Lord. Immutable descriptions, Ephesians 1 and 11, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. His will. Let me get back to it. Because we got a few more here and then we can we can shut it down. So back in 1 Corinthians 2 and 12. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, because the world can't receive the spirit of truth, as we read early on. But the spirit which is of the most high, that we might know the things that are freely given unto us, which also which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the most high, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can we know them because they are spiritually discerned. You got to have the spirit to see this. And one of the biggest things is the name of the father and son. But he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. For who hath known the mind of the Lord that we may instruct him? But we have the mind of the anointed, as it told us in Romans 8, right? You gotta be pre uh you gotta be for the most high has to foreknow you foreknow you to make you conform to the image of his son. Let's get this Romans 8. I'm gonna try to hit these quick. Romans 8. This is a spiritual work. This ain't nothing carnal. Tell us to explain this to you, explain that to you. Romans 8 and 5. For they that after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High, for it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please the Most High. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of the Most High dwell in you. Now if any man have not the spirit of the anointed, he is none of his. And this is a spiritual word. That's why you want us to explain and show you according to the wisdom of this world. Why this didn't do this? Why the 12 tribe sign is like this? Why is this? You ain't got the spirit. It would be foolishness to continue on trying to explain. That's why nobody wants to talk to Volcan Malone. That's why Great Millstone really want to deal with the dude. But he wants to do it because he has an agenda. He wants to come up and ask questions and collect info and press and do this dance of futility. It's pointless. You have on a spiritual helmet, Volcan. You have on a spiritual helmet, Jewish Israelites. You have on a spiritual helmet, so-called white people of the world. That's how we know that those of you that, that get this truth, you're really not Edomites. You can't deny the truth. Like Elder Apostle Gabar did the lesson this afternoon. You can't hide from the truth. If you're a person of the Lord, this truth going to make you come forth, no matter how you look on the outside. And we know that. That's why the Lord has an ingenious plan to just go preach the gospel. You don't need to make rap songs, rap albums, try to blend in with the world. All you need to do is go post up on the corner, preach my word. It is infallible. Let's grab it real quick. And I want to, man. So I'm going to go here to uh, this window over here. Let's get this Isaiah 55. Let's go there. The Lord's word does not fail. As a matter of fact, let's first grab Isaiah 34. Let's get that first. Then we'll go back there. Back to that one. Isaiah 34, verse 16 says this Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. This word cannot fail. None shall want her mate, for my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. The spirit of the Lord is doing the gathering. Nobody can stop it. It will not fail. Isaiah 55, verse I'm going to jump into verse 6 as we read it from there. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord. And he will have mercy upon him until our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Right? We tell the people, repent. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts and your thoughts. As we know. 
For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth and maketh it bring forth in bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. So if the Lord said his word is going to wake up the 12 tribes of Israel, is there any force on earth? If his word is being preached, that can stop that from happening. I say, nay, there is not. And we know it. So these you devils, the only way you're going to, even if you thought you could stop us by turning off the internet, we'd still be somewhere preaching in public. <laughs> and if you put us in jail for preaching, we'd be in jail preaching. We're going to try to cut our lips and our tongue off. We're never going to be stopped from preaching the word until the Lord says so, which at that time he would have already accomplished his purpose, which you lose anyway. It's pointless. But you're the wicked. And so the wicked shall do wickedly. And none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Immutable description, Revelation 1 and 3. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Prophecy Christians, which you hate, you can't do nothing about it though. So I want to get here. I can't even remember what else I got. Oh, Book of Baruch, chapter two. Let's go there, because for people like Mary, y'all, Mariah, whatever, you don't understand this. Baruch two twenty nine. Us having been in captivity, let's deal with a little bit of this now. Us having been in captivity, we're only going to get our heritage back near the end. And even that, we're not going to get the full language back. We're not going to have it on a, a worldwide scale. We can just show people. They're going to laugh at us. They're going to say, you niggas ain't speaking Hebrew. You ain't, That ain't Hebrew. According to who? According to the world who can't receive the spirit of truth? How they know? They don't got the spirit of truth. Who are they to tell us what, what, what we can say, what we can't say? Verse 29, if you would not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. Stupid Christians don't even want to agree that the Israelites are still scattered. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. Did you hear that vocab Malone? Christians will say at this point, this is apocryphal. It's not part of the Bible, liars. And shall know that I am the Lord, their power, while I give them in heart and ears to hear. He's going to open you up. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. So the name that the world has that they said was the name of the Lord. Well, the Lord just told us we were going to get his name till we woke up. Then we're going to get his name. So how then can you come and question us about a name that the world said was his name when the Lord said we weren't going to have his name to woke up to our heritage that they didn't have before we woke up? What are you talking about? That's how ridiculous this is. That's why it was necessary to go into it. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds. For they shall remember the way of their fathers with sin before the Lord. Then what? And I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be lords of it. And I will increase them and they shall not be diminished. So that comes once our people wake up to the truth that the elect is sealed. They woke or they've already been sealed when they get initiated. Wake up. Jacob's trouble plays out. World War Three, blah, blah, blah. I don't mean to say blah, blah, blah. All the time prophecies are fulfilled. Then we go home. Part of that is getting the name of the Lord back. Right. We're going to get the whole language back. We're going to get the things we need for salvation. Right. We don't know the full you are not uh, speaking fluent Paleo-Hebrew because that's not coming to the kingdom according to prophecy. Shalom, consuming fire, spirit of truth. Right, brother Tazamak, James Memphis. Shalom, brother. Second Timothy 4 and 4. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned into fables. It was like what? Woman walk around the earth talking about prove to her what is Yah, the Yah, the Yah, hey, va, hey, this, that, and the other. She was offended that I made a video saying YHWH is not a name. She's offended by that. But she got her ears are turning to fable. She believed that the people that's telling her, I've been see, I've been studying Hebrew. Explain to me what these characters mean. You dummy. 
Even if I did explain it, you still wouldn't get it. This video ain't for her, by the way. It's for us. Kazat Banya Howard, Baruch 4 and 6, you were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but, uh, but because you moved the most high to wrath, you were delivered unto the enemies. When you got delivered to the enemies, what happened? Did you have your pure language with you? You didn't even know you was Israelites. How you had the language with you? You didn't. For you provoked him that made you by sacrificing the devils and not to the most high. We did that. You have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up. and You have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. We did that. And the Lord punished. He got us good. He got us good. But guess what? He was a hey, he did what he said. He's waking us up and he gave us his power. This spiritual power. Understand this truth. Jim is Vegas. Sit down. Deuteronomy 30 and 1. And it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. When all these things will come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee. And thou shalt call them to mind among the among all the nations where the Lord thy power hath driven thee. And shall return unto the Lord thy power and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day. Thou with thy children with all thine heart and with all thy soul. And shall return unto the Lord thy power and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day. Thou not children. Oh, I did read that, didn't I? Salaki. If any of thine be driven out unto the uttermost parts of the heaven, from thence will the Lord thy power gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. He's doing it now. He's doing it now. Now, let's get this, because most Israelites, these little fluffy, fluffy Israelites, they don't want to deal with this. They don't want to admit this. They'll say, they'll tell you the white man he saw this, they'll dance around it. But you don't want to admit these devils did a marvelous work on us. Through this, the most high put them up to it, of course. He allowed it. They stole the land, stole our heritage, hid it from us, made up a new language, said it's, you know, all that. Ezekiel 36 and 1. Also, thou son of man, prophesy unto the mountains of Israel and say, Ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord power, because the enemy has said against you, aha, uh -huh. even the ancient high places are ours in possession. Didn't Yahweh shall tell us in Luke 21 that our homeland is going to be trodden down by Gentiles until the towns of the Gentiles be fulfilled? Yeah, it did. Yeah, he did. Therefore prophesy and say, thus said the Lord power, because they have made you desolate. And swallowed you up on every side that you might be a possession until the residue of the heathen. And you are taken up in the lips of targets and are an infamy of the people. Therefore, ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord power. Thus said the Lord power to the mountains and to the hills, to the rivers and to the valleys, to the desolate wastes and to the cities that are forsaken, which became a prey and a derision to the residue of the heathen round about. Therefore, thus said the Lord power, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all our doom you, Edomites. What did they do? Which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart, with the spiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. The Edomites took your land, put the name on themselves, changed your everything up, changed it to make the, 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 rope, the map of the earth. They did a lot of stuff. Can we see in the end times where the Lord is going to undo this deed? Yeah, we can. Joel chapter 3. Let's go to it now. Joel chapter 3. He's going to say they did. He's going to say that again. Right here. The nations will be judged. For behold, in those days and at that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, the Most High said we're going to get out of captivity in the end days. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel. What did they do? Whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. That's why you got them over there now celebrating what? Three different major religions, right? Catholics. Jews, Jews, Christians, and Muslims, part of the land. They're over there now celebrating, saying that they us. And we're in captivity. We over here in Babylon the Great, getting shot down by the cops. They keep making up shit. I thought I had a taser. I'd blow his brains out. No, man. 
prophetically is being fulfilled before your eyes, man. The Lord bad like that. That's why you people don't want none of this. You don't. So the Lord got it right there. That's what's going to happen to us. Our land is laid waste, man. In the meantime, or when they came into authority, what did the wicked do? Job 9.24. They parted our land. Job 9, 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Many nations rule the earth. Could they not be the wicked? Yeah, they could. There's been many different people that rule the world. Why are we saying it's the so-called white man that's the wicked? Well, let's read a little further. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Now he's got a different complexion. No pun intended. This wicked covered the faces up. Did he not? He said, I'm you. You're somebody else. This is that. That is this. He did that. Right? So we know who did that. Ain't no Chinese Jesus painted nowhere. I mean, it could be, you know, one or two here or there, whatever. I'm sure somebody got a Chinese Jesus. But I'm talking about on a whole mass level. Right? All over the whole planet. You got white Jesus, white Jesus movies. White Jesus paraphernalia, white Jesus sneakers, right? Gregory F. Either you can listen or you can bounce. Stay with us here or not. We're not concerned with that right now. We're in something heavy right now. Gregory F. But thanks. That's important. Don't get me wrong, but we'll get to that when we get to it. And you may be a brother. It's all good. So, uh, pursuant to that scripture, the wicked rule the whole earth. So, when they did that, and you can look in their books, their publication, they got the learned elders of Zion. They said they're going to read, or maybe it might not be in that book. It might be in uh, Salem Kirvin's, what is it, Satan's Angels Exposed. They said they're going to rewrite history. They said that, literally, and they've done that. So, we know that the wicked. Okay, brother, good. You say you stand. We, we want you here if you were a brother. We'll get to the news. I don't know if we're going to get to it tonight, but we'll we'll get to it. We, we keep up with it over here. Let's read Micah 2 and 2. And I want to, you know, kind of get on through this. Micah 2 verse 2. Woe to the oppressors. You hear it? Woe to them that devise iniquity. When you devise iniquity, you're working on doing some wickedness, man. And work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It's in the power of their hand. They covet fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. Then they do that. They part of our land. They said it to us. If they, if they oppress us and our heritage, wouldn't it stand the reason they will also change up languages? They do all kinds of stuff, man. They change up the language. Saying that what they speak is not Hebrew. They saying what we speak is not Hebrew, but that Yiddish shit is not Hebrew. See, they can say that because we are we are lost people. We supposed to have been covered up. They covered over us with you know with the images and done all that. They rewrote history. They moved landmarks. We'll get, get that one next. But they still couldn't stop us the cream from popping that back up to the top because that's the spirit of the Lord. It's just the Most High's plan. He was the one that said this was going to happen this way, not us. We're just living it out. And they covet fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. Therefore, thus said the Lord, behold, against this family do I devise an evil, which you shall not remove your necks, neither shall you go heartily, for this time is evil. The Most High said a family did this. Behold, against this family. What family is that? The family of Esau, Edom. They, the main ones, did it. Finally, here in Job 24, I'm going to start at verse 1. What else did they do? Job 24 and 1. Why, seeing times are not hidden from the Almighty, do they that know him not see his days? Some remove the landmarks. They violently take away flocks and feed thereof. If you take a people into captivity, you come into power on the earth and you move all the landmarks. You can pretty much say you're you can say whatever you want to say. Make all the maps and the books and history say what you wanted to say. Change the language and say this language is not this because we don't speak that. Let's read it here in another 
another translation. I want to read this one. NLT. Evil people steal land by moving the boundary markers. <laughs> they steal livestock and put them in their own pastures. Ooh. <laughs> Who did that? Who did that? Who moved it? Evil people steal land by moving the boundary markers. They steal livestock and put them in their own pastures. And the evil people is who? The wicked. Esau eat them. So that's what I got. That's it, brothers. You know, I mean, we get all heated, man, because we get tired of people doing that. People always think that they can, it's going to be something like we just going to, yeah, see, I got this card in my back pocket. You know, yeah, I'm from the tribe of, of, of Judah. See right here, so my, my, it's handed down from my daddy. Then the family tree go back to him. Then my family tree go back to my great, 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 great granddaddy. See, he was, you know, he was Cleophas Judah. No, no. This is through faith. We were a lost people. And the Most High is waking us up. Immutable description, Psalms 49 and 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. And their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. The wicked. They did that. Jim is Vegas sit downs. Proverbs 19 14. Thou shalt not remove thy neighbor's landmark. <laughs> thou shalt not remove thy neighbor's landmark, which they of old time have set in thine, thine, set in thine inheritance, which thou shalt inherit in the land that the Lord thy power giveth thee to possess it. And they broke that law. They broke all the laws in the scriptures, man. Because they're the wicked. That's what the wicked does. Come on, man. Spiritual Ark, Habakkuk 2 and 4. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. Marry Yah. This is through faith. Yeah, also because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man. Neither keep it at home, who enlarges his desire as hell, and is his death, and cannot be satisfied, but gather unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. He never has enough. He's been constantly expanding his territory more and more and more. Right? Hey, bro. You know, he ain't said nothing out the way, so we don't know if he's a heathen. He looked like one of the other nations, but he might not be. You know, even if he got some crazy videos on his channel, maybe he's trying to come out of it. We'll give him the benefit of doubt till he do something. Consuming fire, spirit of truth. Proverbs 23, 10. Remove not the old landmark and enter not into the fields of the fatherless. For their redeemer is mighty. He shall plead their cause with thee. <laughs> Consuming fire. Spirit of truth. Burning you up, man. Yeah, y'all brothers know what to do. Y'all got it. You got it. Your white desire war, Psalm 64 and 6. They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. Yeah, they plot out shit. Always. They're always planning. I got your dark matter, you howler. I hooked you up. They always plot, man. We see them, you know. The most high alerted us through the spirit, you know, about these people, man. So, I mean, it's obvious right there. Not only did we go into captivity, the most high, he really did a number on us. And we know that. But it was through our own iniquity, though. It was through our own iniquity, man. But now, what did he do? He sent his son, right? He went to be with the Father. He sent down the Holy Spirit so that we could know these things that we know. And the world ain't going to receive this. And we are right with that. We are perfectly fine with that. If nobody, nobody else ever bothers us to come up to us, ask us questions, try to challenge us, we'll be fine with it. The scriptures say, let them alone, right? Not let them alone. Uh, let's go there real quick. Acts chapter 5, it is. And we'll close out on that. Yeah, this is fire too. Kazak Banya Howard of Proverbs 4.16. For they sleep not except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. That's what they live for. They live to do wickedness, man. Like we can't sometimes we can't go to sleep till we get this last lesson up. They can't go to sleep till they try to snare somebody up in their lies. 
They always, man, vocab alone, be stand up late at night trying to figure out ways he could stop the Hebrew Israelites. And you can't. You just can't do it. Just like the scoffers. The scoffers, they stay up at night trying to figure out if we say this, we they gonna say this, we're gonna cut these niggas, we're gonna confound rape millstone, we're gonna do that shit up. They ain't gonna do nothing. X five. We're gonna read this and then we'll be able to shut it down. And we and man, look, we literally there's many other scriptures we could have went into. We'll be here all night going through scriptures. So this is Acts chapter five. And verse, just hold on. Must have skipped it. I didn't skip it. Here it is. Acts 5.38. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. If everybody's so convinced that we ain't teaching the truth, why don't they just leave us alone then? It'll fizzle out. As we left all you alone, we know your shit gonna fizzle out. Look at black consciousness. Who killed Kimmit? The Hebrews likes killed Kimmit. And now I said to you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel, this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of the Most High, ye cannot overthrow it, lest happily ye be found even to fight against the Most High. Plain and simple. See? Yeah, Steve Gregory F. must have gotten his feelings. You can listen now in the background quietly. So that's pretty much it. We'll read this brother's scripture here. This is uh, Dark Matter Yehowada, Psalms 37 and 12. The wicked plotteth against the just and gnasheth upon them with his teeth. Even now they're plotting against us. They're plotting against us right now. Then they're going to do this, they're going to do that. But whatever, we ain't worried about it. The Lord said that his elect will be saved. And that's what we're concerned with. And that's it. So we're going to end it right there, y'all. You know, and this, you know, like the title says, Hebrews like rebuke. The world will not endorse us or our language. We know that. They're going to come and tell us you guys are doing a great. You know, they may say it in mocking. You know, they say it every Saturday to us. Thank you guys for what you're doing. They have no idea what they're saying. They think we're preaching white Jesus. But we're not. We're preaching a downfall. That's what we're preaching. So the world's not going to endorse us. We know that. Like we said. Bottom line. So you have to be, your brothers and sisters out there, you know the truth. You're not going to be able to convince your family that the most high name is Yahweh. <laughs> His son named Yahweh Shah. Oh, His name Jesus. They're not going to get it. Okay? Some of them may in time get it, but don't hold your breath. So we're going to end it right there, brothers and sisters. The water for everybody joining in. Let's go try to watch the Dallas brothers. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukak, Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Shalom to the holy elect. The water, you brothers, you moderators, everybody for your scriptures, for the love, for the support. You know, and uh, hey, that's it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Shalom.